You lot said that you don't think black women respect black I, men. You no, but we don't. I, no, I, no, 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 no. I don't think you that's true. You said no. True. Why not? Why don't you think black women respect I, black men? I believe that <laughs> many, 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 many black men who have any kind of considerable status, mm. firstly, they usually look like they're the ones to, to firstly jump ship. Right. They're the ones that want to date. Go with, they yeah. go elsewhere. They, they want to date their Caucasian. They, they want to be mixers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not about it. And that, for me, in and of its in and of itself, is problematic. The fact that a black man of any kind of considerable status will happily leave you for a white woman, and not even look at you, mm. and look at a white woman instead, for black women that cuts deep. Currently living in the Western world, yeah. I, let's just look at ideals of beauty. Like the ideals of beauty in the Western world are going to be skewed towards Western women. Agreed. Yeah. However, so, but the thing is, as black men, black men are raised thinking or being told that the most beautiful woman is, a black woman. is not a black woman. The general society, what is portrayed, isn't it? Like, yeah, if you yeah, look yeah, at yeah. Media and you look at all of that, the, the, the Western ideals of beauty is what's portrayed as yeah. beautiful. If a black woman feels like a black man is going to choose a white woman over, over her, her, that adds to that level of, that adds and to that aggravation. Well. I'm so not saying that I feel like that, but I'm saying, but what I'm saying is that mm. that's the way it's perceived. Mm. That's the way that is felt by mm. a lot of black women. Mm. And the thing is, we, we have unfortunately lived in a world where we've, when it, where it's been perpetuated, that white is right. And so if, if, if that's what the world around us is perpetuating, men are feeding into that. But then I've, that's what I'm saying, men we're living in the Western world. Yeah, men are like, into that. that. As a black woman, I'm never going to agree that. But the fact is, we have to address our behaviour at times. I, we have I, to understand that's that sometimes our behaviour perpetuates these things. Right. We have to actually look at what we're so doing. Then, there is no... Black men don't have accountability. Do you, yes. black, black men what don't want... Generally, what no. I would say to do you, think, do you think black women have accountability? No. I think, no. no, I don't no. actually. I would tell so you. No one's got, so no one's being and accountable. that's part of the problem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Women are a little bit... 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 From the very beginning... You can say women are not... Women are discombobulated. A woman will tell you I want X, Y and Z. She and will get, get X, X, Y, and Z, and, Z, and it's and like, it will be the thing she mm, nah, she sure don't yeah. want it no more. It's like, uh, but no, but also, what? I thought but do black women trust life? a black man to leave? No, no that's, that's, no, that's, 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 no, that's, that's, that's a problem. Black, black, a lot of black men are devoid of tools. They are. I'm not going to lie. Real they're, devo they're devoid of basic tools that they should yeah. have. Yeah. 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 Communication. Yes, of oh, course. Communication, yeah. no, knowing actually what it is to lead a household and what it actually looks it's like. Do you were saying yeah, that there, women thought... aren't raised to um, family, saying that women weren't brother. raised to be wives, and yeah. but they weren't raised to be man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, men are yeah. raised to be husbands. Yeah, which is why you'll find less and less people get married. Are black women salty like when black men date out? And why? Yes, to an extent. Yeah, I feel like we only talk about the ones who, what's the word? Sold out. Yeah. Who, who what does selling out? out mean now? Like, well, what is that? Basically, you date outside of your race, and then you will come and cuss out the black women um, in your race within mm. your own race. Mm. Like your mother is black. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't think it's a problem to date outside of your race as a black man. I think you should date whoever you want to date, but then don't come and like condemn the black women. Let's say who have brought you up supposedly. Let's say. I don't mm. understand that. I actually would. And saying you're too stubborn, you're too this, you're too that. So your justification for dating outside of your race is basically because other races are easier or won't put up with your bullshit. Mm. Do you think that? Do you think other races are easier, of women? I personally don't, but from... I want to hear from the men. They, they think that. with black men, that's <laughs> what I hear. So yeah, it would be interesting to hear from you guys like what you actually think <laughs> you about You know what, that. as you say that, I do want to ask her... Because you've dated both white men, you're attracted to black men now. I don't yeah. know if you, you've dated black men as, since you've been, become yeah, I've more dated attracted. Black men. So then, would you say white men are easier? Would you say black men are easier? What, what's your kind of. Uh, if I had to answer honestly, honestly, no man is easy, to be honest. Like, <laughs> okay. It doesn't. For me. He's still got a penis. Yeah. Oh, it's still a headache. I like women don't view men that way, but men view women. Yeah, that that's. Way. I don't view it. I never viewed it that way. Oh, okay. So, to the black men, have you dated both white men and black women? Uh, white men, sorry. <laughs> um, white women and black women. I've never dated a white woman, no. Yeah, I haven't dated a white woman. Okay, do you think that it's easier to date a black woman? I don't like to use the word hurt because I, I feel that that puts too much weight on it. Personally, I am not that sad or, or, or affected when I see a black man with a woman of another race, unless he's very fine. And mm. she is not what I really think is, you know, a, a good match. 
But I do question a lot of their choices because when pressed or asked about it, a lot of them have really lame excuses. Like Michael did the whole thing about milk flavors. And I was just like... So weird. Right. Like just say you like what you like and this is not it or this is it. My problem with it is that I feel like Michael B. Jordan's fan base has been built on the backs of black women. And now he's afraid that he's going to lose his audience. So now he's clamoring and he's all these milk analogies and it's really strange. But we see this so often in Hollywood. Yeah, Yeah. and we're seeing right through it because all of those types of explanations, they just read as superficial and inauthentic. It's like, just own it, brother. Africa Miranda's point about, um, you know, she's not going to live her life kind of uh, identifying a, you know, a black man is dating a white woman, oh my God, you know, travesty, right? Mm-hmm. Agreed, but I think that a lot of the black women that I know, a lot of my, um, my black female friends who are single are, are, are faced with an issue of uh, what's out there, what's able, what's, what's, uh, what's in their purview as being uh, true prime opportunities uh, with black men. And so in the instance that you see a black man that you could have dated, dating a white woman, right. it's kind of like, oh, that brother would have been good for me. And, and he went with a white girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And so it really does <coughs> feel like sabotage. It kind of feels cool. like you just straight up just took, took an opportunity away from me. And I think that that is an issue that we need to address. I think the point about uh, Michael B. Jordan was really interesting, too, about him building his you know reputation and his fame on the backs of, of black women. And I think it is a very like precarious predicament for him to be in, only because it's like, now he feels obliged to have to make an excuse. He can't just say, you know, I, I enjoy dating white women. I think the interesting thing about preference is that it doesn't really affect anyone except for the individual. I understand historically that a lot of, you know, what is seen as the black plight is the loss of the black family. But when does that become every individual's responsibility to say, okay, I have to put what I may innately prefer aside to fulfill this larger purpose. And so I think it's something to be said about, um, you know, just the pressures of what is expected of the black man and what he's supposed to do and how he's treated once he, if he was to come out and say, yeah, I prefer to date white women. There's a lot of backlash for that. And so I want us to finish a thought, if we may. So when black men listen to black women on the topic of interracial dating. I feel that their specific perspective and the, the, the life events that they have lived through grant them the right to their opinion. I think it's very different from what I've lived through and what I've seen and, and my whole perception of the situation, but it's equally valued and I think there's some merit to it. When black men listen to black women on the topic of interracial dating, blank. They often get defensive and uh, feel guilty, yeah. to be totally honest with you. I think when a black woman presents and says, you know, when black men date white women, I don't get it. I don't understand. You're, you're not valuing yourself and who you come from. And if you've dated a white woman, you sit down there and say, dang, is that true? No. You start to think and calculate and, you know, and see if that's the case. And, and, then, you, and then you come up with a, a response. It's unfortunate that that is the case. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that when we hear our sisters uh, give their opinions on it, sometimes we can become enlightened, but oftentimes we become defensive. What can we do? Uh, both men and women to start to address this, right? What can women do to feel less bothered by these these trends? And what can men do, black men, to try to listen to black women a little bit more and hold space for them? I think the key to any problem, the first step is dialogue. There needs to be that conversation. They can't be these feelings of disdain and anger and, and hurt and you just keep it bottled inside. I don't think that's the solution in any situation. I think it's best that we have these conversations with each other. We put our prides aside. We we try to remove the emotionality from it. And we hear what people are thinking. And furthermore, I think if you speak to a black man as a black woman, and you say, why do you date white women? And he says, this is all I want to date. Then you probably saved yourself and dodged the bullet. (laughs)